welcome to my four drives Doug here and today a bit of a different tone uh, but you join me in the Aston Martin DB9 that was formerly known as the Dad B9 I believe that's what my driveway looks like uh, today. Uh, down to the kindness of James from JM on Cars. I'm now, I find myself sat in the beautiful 2009 DB9. If you follow James, you might also know this used to belong to, to Ben on the, the Channel Dad Cars. And it's probably now the most sorted DB9 that you can possibly imagine. Uh, mechanically, James and well, we've both done a lot, of, a lot of work on the car. I can't believe really it's been 20 years basically since the Top Gear race between Clarks and Hammond and May uh, down to the south of France between the DB9 and the, and the train. Um, I had big plans this week to, um, to replicate that race. I'm joking. Um, I just had a, a plan for a little mini weekend away in the Aston, a bit of a little road trip down to the south and then um, spend a bit of time living with the Aston. Uh, but unfortunately, somebody close to me has surprisingly been um, admitted to hospital, so uh, as it does, um, that absolutely takes takes over. I think they're fine, I think they're going to be fine, um, but it's perhaps brought home how the problem is more serious than uh, expected and um, it was a bit of a struggle to get help, as you can imagine, to start with, so until it got to a point where it was it was worrying, so um, that's not how things should work, is it? But I find myself in that awkward phase between visiting and being allowed to go in, you know, so got a few hours waiting. Um, I thought I might just come for a drive. On YouTube and other places it's always about it can feel like it's always about how exciting cars are how much fun they can be but at times it's all about finding a bit of space and just change of scenery sitting in something comfortable relaxing and time to process things you know um, I, it's ring, I'm sure this rings true with people that um, you may remember did a video with, with JJ um, on, on his Focus ST we touched on he's had it had it since new uh, 2006 or basically new um, been through a lot obviously through, with, with and then um, it's all part of those memories so yeah, this morning I thought just um, I'll come out and drive. I might not even release this, so I'm not sure if I was going to release anything. It's just a, a way for me to get out and uh, think about things, and rather than just being stuck in the house, I guess. Um, and given I can't be particularly useful, maybe I should I should I should clean the house, clean and tidy the house. Obviously, I'll do that when I get back. Um, but um, yeah, well, while, while there's not much else to do, I mean, I have this on the driveway, and it's the perfect place to process things, I say.
the sound is spot on actually. Um, James has just removed two of the cats. So uh, it still has four cats. So obviously a very cautious approach to the regulations, but yeah, now, it, well, I didn't, didn't hear it before, did I? But that was lovely. As I said, we had plans for a bit of a trip away in the DB9. Um, I don't think I had any place doing a kind of technical update video or anything like that because you can see that on, on James's channel. And I put a link below to one of the videos. Um, I've just picked it up straight after it's had a lot of uh, uh, updates, which I'm sure he will be able to cover probably already. Um, and in terms of living with the car, Ben's well documented his life with, with this and, and, and the kids. And uh, from what I was planning to do was just to um, yeah, include it in my kind of hunt for a classic series that I started a few weeks ago. Um, and with the case that this is perhaps a bit of a future classic in the making, at the point where it's it's a very good value. It's kind of low 20s will get you into a, an older DB9. Um, might be more sensible to spend a bit more. But it's kind of at the point where you, I think because it's an Aston, because yeah, it's always a, a desirable thing, it's the point where you can finance it differently. Uh, you can get a personal loan or, you know, realistically it's something that you might be able to save up for for, for more people um, at the level they are now in the market so unlikely to drop further apart from condition and then the longer term this was a huge turning point for us and um, I've just been uh, very impressed with it <laughs> since picking it up it's um, the car most immediately felt at home in so for a day like today, just wanted to get out for a bit and see the world a little bit. There's lovely awesome colours and uh, as much as I love the Lotus, this, this just was the right place, right time really. Uh, automatic gearbox, a bit of luxury. The, the stamp of this interior is, is very good. Um, the dials, the, the dash, I think um, uh, the Lotus interior, I think is a lot better than people usually expect. Uh, I love my suede, suede finish and uh, I think it's also a great place to, to spend time. But yeah, if you just want a nice relaxing drive where there's kind of untapped potential there, this, this is ballistic in a straight line. Um, it's nice to know you've got it, but you don't, I haven't used it this morning. It's almost like, I can imagine strapping on the Iron Man suit or something and just going for a walk. It's like, you'd feel good, wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe, this video is maybe a bit more realistic on what, what cars are actually used for. You're not always hammering down a B road for fun, we dealing with the day to day stuff. So, a mass massive thanks to James for the loan of the car. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be using it in a few days, as I say. Um, won't be taking it to the south of France, don't worry. Um, but although I'd try to be fine with that. Uh, and thanks to Ben as well um, for 
maintaining what is a, a fantastic Aston. I think it's up for sale in the spring, that's the plan, so uh, check out the videos on both the channels and appreciate you watching. I'm going to yeah, spend a bit more time wafting around and um, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot.